Early in the morning, while sipping on her decaf to try to avoid anxiety, Kemi calls Connor on Zoom to remind herself of their first date years ago somewhere in Southeast Asia, on the beach of a secluded island. So, uh, welcome to my podcast. It's uh, Connor, my friend. Um, I, met, uh, I met him in Malaysia four years ago. Yeah, I think it was August. I was thinking about that last night, August 2016. Yeah, and um, so it's not a first date because we met before, but uh, I invited you because I wanted to talk uh, about all of our crazy Asian adventures. <laughs> crazy Asians, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, what do you remember about the first time we met? Uh, I remember it was in Langkawi in uh, Malaysia. Yeah. And um, I had just I had just gone there because I got a job in China, but I was going to Malaysia first. I went to this random island, really hungover, and on the first day I met <laughs> <laughs> on the first day you were I met you and you were staying at the same hostel as me. It's called uh, Two Boats Hotel. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember like the first time we met, but I think I met you because you were already friends with Arfan. Yeah. Cool friend. Yeah. Well, I don't think I was actually friends with him. I think he just decided Possible to invite friend. me to yeah. breakfast with you guys. <laughs> and then you guys were going to um, yeah. like the mountain something. I don't remember. That's right. Like yeah. the, the viewpoint. Okay, yeah, with the big cable car that we went up uh, the mountain. Right? Exactly. And that's... Yeah. That's what I would consider like our first date when we went to the foot massage with fish. That's right. <laughs> the fish eating the dead skin off our feet. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I think it was kind of cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. <laughs> I, I have good memories of that. Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And that was awesome. I remember also uh, on top of the mountain, there was like a, a lot of um, locks. Yeah. Yeah, locks with like couples with their names on it and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. we were like, oh, we oh, should put yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should get together. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and then I, was it that night that we went out at the, at the club with the yeah. pina colada guy? I think we went to the beach that day as well. I think we did a, a lot. Or maybe was that two days? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We were drunk all the time. <laughs> Very drunk, yeah. But then that night, I remember our friend had a car randomly on the island. And yeah, he took us to this bar and we got really drunk. And yeah. uh, that's when, yeah, I mean, you, you let me know right in, right away that you have a fetish for old guys. <laughs> you know, the Nicolata guy. So. Oh my God. I can't believe that's been like that for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was this guy from, I think he, it was from Tinder. The old guy? Yeah, that's right. You met him on Tinder. Yeah, and he was yeah. like on a business trip there. He was staying <laughs> in a like super fancy hotel. And I don't know why, but he was at that bar where we went. And he recognized me. And he just <laughs> kept buying me pina coladas. And we just named him pina colada guy. Yeah, it's a pina colada guy. That's right. <laughs> He was my competition all night. <laughs> he, was, he was in competition, really. But... He was free alcohol, so... <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was... That. Actually, he wasn't competition. He was helping you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good point. Like he that. was making me drunk. <laughs> oh, man. That's going to change my st strategy now for the rest of my life. Oh, my God. Make the rich guy buy the girl drinks, and then I swoop in at the last minute. That's such a good idea. Hey. Mm. I yeah. So have you done that again after, <laughs> after me? <laughs> no, no. I'm going to start doing it, though. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so then um yeah, that night was it was it the night in the back of the our uh, of our friend's car? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> romance. That's sure. yeah, that's very romantic. Um <laughs> doing stuff that we're not going to like say details, but yeah. <laughs> like in a, in a moving car. Yeah. That was a uh... Uh, that was a weird one. <laughs> it's so funny with Arfan, like just not going anywhere because he just. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That was, that's insane thinking about that. Anyway. <laughs> um, and then, so we met in Malaysia. Then the crazy thing is we met in Malaysia. Then we separated because you went to China for your studies. Yeah. 
Then I came to China for my birthday. No, I think uh, I think we met before that, right? <gasps> Maybe in Bali. Right. Yeah, we stayed in contact for a while, and then we were like, "Hey," or you were in Indonesia. Yeah. Working in some ant-covered school. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> With then, rapists. <laughs> yeah, it was rapists. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> like when we said crazy stories, <laughs> it's yeah, pretty much yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then, yeah, out of the blue, you were like, hey, do you want to meet up? Or maybe I said I have no idea. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think you had like vacations or something. You could like leave for a while and we're, and like, I'm going to Bali. And you're like, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, it was the Chinese like lunar holiday, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. That so was weird it was kind of like a hookup before. And then yeah. all of a sudden, we're like, hey, do you want to? be at a hotel together for like seven days <laughs> <laughs> <It's true. laughs> and the hotel was so cool we might hate each other but i don't know <laughs> did yeah, we i think we did <laughs> I, I, we hate each other from time to time i think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god this relationship is awesome <laughs> it's like it's like you it's like you were my okay that's gonna sound terrible but it's like you were my little brother i was having sex with <laughs> that is your horrible <laughs> um so yeah so we yeah we met in bali we rented this hotel room that was super kind of fancy for what it cost yeah it was so cheap (laughs) so cheap with free breakfast yeah and a pool and And a pool yeah and massages and stuff yeah that's right (laughs) and uh but we had a really great time in bali though yeah with like the monkey forest and stuff yeah, that's right. I think what else did we do there? I think we, uh, yeah, because we rented a scooter there as well. We I rented remember. lots of scooters. Yeah, we rented <laughs> quite a few scooters. But I remember we rented a scooter and uh, the guy asked me for my international license. Oh, yeah. And, I had and never we heard didn't of that. have it. Yeah. And he's like, okay, well, if you get stopped, you can pay the police, right? You can pay them 50000 But $1 was 13,000 rupiah, <laughs> no? It was like 20 bucks. Yeah, no, so you, can't, you pay the cop four bucks. Oh, four bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, yeah, I remember we laughed a lot about that. Like, yeah, it was, we yeah. were like, seriously? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember, no, we went to Ubud. There was some guy who invited us to uh, drink coffee that was like shit out by a monkey. Do you remember oh, that? yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. And we just, we, we just drove away really fast. Yeah, we just... <laughs> <laughs> because basically, <laughs> he invited us, we were... We were driving on the motorci- motorcycle. We were stopped at the red light and he stopped right next to us and yeah. he invited us to drink shit monkey coffee. Yeah, he said there was other types too, like that you know, monkey shit out cats, shit out coffee and apparently that was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we were like, oh yeah, cool, sounds good. And then the, the green light <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and he was pissed. Yeah. He like followed us for a yeah, while genuinely trying to be nice and we were kind of like we yeah well well we're scared because i mean there's a lot of bad people out there so we're like are you like trying to get us in some scam yeah yeah (laughs) so i guess we were like careful yeah and i didn't really want to drink shit coffee yeah me neither (laughs) i wasn't (laughs) um and then and then then I went to China for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. We there there are crazy stories there too because when I got there, I, I started being sick. Yeah, very sick. <laughs> You're like deathly ill in like a city that you've never heard of before. <laughs> and nobody speaks other languages than like yeah. Chinese. <laughs> and everything is in Chinese, and you speak like four words. Yeah, exactly. Chinese. I remember so, I went to the I went to the store, and I was just like sweating like fever <laughs> cough you know like to try to get medicine <laughs> acting it out <laughs> yeah oh my god and then you you came back with medicine like antibiotics yeah that's right i and hope there were antibiotics so. I, I like we hoped it was that because that's what i needed but it was all written in mandarin so yeah <laughs> so i took them and i was like fingers crossed yeah hope this <laughs> but, works yeah, it worked. I spent like maybe four or five days in bed, like eating the fruit yeah. and like yogurt because that's yeah, all my throat could handle. Yeah. And uh, watching border security yeah, that's, that's while a great you deal. went to work. And drawing. And drawing, yeah. yeah. 
So I did that for five days thinking I was going to die. And then, and then there was Halloween. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I had a huge Halloween party at my, at my apartment. And like we invited all the Chinese people and they had no idea what it was. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, oh. they had no idea what Halloween was. So we were oh. like, oh, we're having a big party. Oh my God. Drinking. But were they costumed? Yeah, yeah. They, had, oh, they all had costumes. Like, you know. So I you explained them? them? Yeah, okay. Oh, I did not remember that. Yeah, but they didn't know this like, crazy pagan, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> pagan like, Halloween thing. Yeah. But then there was yeah, the... Then, uh, sorry? Yeah, yeah. I'll let you tell them. <laughs> and then you... Uh, We all had a lot of drinks, and then you ended up kissing my friend, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm terrible when I drink. <laughs> you did that. You did that in Malaysia again. I remember when with like five guys. You got <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Don't oh, tell them. <laughs> you remember it was, it was with uh, in, um, Borneo. Yeah, yeah, with Imi and the uh, and Khalid. Imi and yeah. Khalid. Oh my God, Khalid. Yeah. But yeah, you like went up to a table of random Malaysian guys and kissed like five of them. Oh my god, there was no COVID at the time. Yeah. I'm just wanting to tell everyone. Exactly. Oh my god, I'm 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 just when I get drunk I get really loving. Yeah, no, that's better than being like angry. White people, yeah. Yeah, I mean I'm not like uh I guess it's yeah. Uh, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I kissed your friend uh, at Halloween party. Yeah. And um I also went upstairs like with another random dude to get some water, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I remember he was an American guy. Yeah. But I have no memories of that. Like I just know I went, but I don't remember what happened. Yeah. I'm surprised that nothing happened or, well, maybe it did, but anyway. But I don't think so. I don't, I think I would remember. That guy was a bit crazy. He liked. Uh, he was weird. He was he weird. Prostitutes, weird. to put it What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was like his thing. Okay. <laughs> Enough about the Halloween party. Right. <laughs> it was wild. It was. Um, um, and then yeah, then we went to Borneo for Christmas. Yeah, that's right. I finished my job and then I met you in Borneo because you were already there, right? Uh, we yeah, we flew there before you. Yeah. With Amy yeah. and Khalid, and yeah. ah, that time we were staying in a private room in the hostel, and when we left, they didn't ask us to pay, so we just left without yeah. paying. I had no idea. You're like, I just left. I didn't pay. <laughs> oh my god, I I sound like the worst human being right That's now. Horrible. Like. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god, I I'm starting to hate myself. Yeah, maybe that person got fired because we did. Who knows? But it's their job to remember who paid. I mean, like maybe they had little kids that they were trying to support. And, like, oh my God, stop it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to start crying. <laughs> maybe oh they were really God. sick. <laughs> huh? Maybe they were really sick and had medical bills. Oh, wait, no. That yeah, wasn't. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> But a second time when we went to Kuching. Yeah. Because, did we drive there? No. Yeah, we rented a car in Kutskinabali. And then we were driving around with Emmy. Remember we went camping one night? Well, yeah, yeah but, uh, well, camping, not really in camping. In a parking yeah. lot? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not what I call camping, but not exactly okay. Camping, yeah. So but we yeah, slept then, in a car in a parking lot, yeah. That's right. And then after that, we, Emmy and Khaled went to go live in paradise or whatever they did. And then uh, we went to Kuching, right? And that's yeah. it. No, we didn't drive there. No, we we took a plane there. We took a plane there. That's right. We wanted to drive there, but we decided not to. I think. We have horrible memory. Of that. <laughs> well, it's four years ago, and there was a lot have, like going yeah. on since then. So I remember we were thinking about driving there, and we were gonna drive through that like little country that's there, Brunei. Yeah, we, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like strict Muslim yeah. laws. <laughs> we were like, yeah, fuck it. You're like, yeah, probably no. Then, yeah. <laughs> probably gonna fly probably gonna like take one hour of our time instead of like three days exactly <laughs> yeah and that was nice in Kaching. you remember we met a bunch of people and uh oh my god yes family. what was his name his name he was from wales it, it, it starts with an a i think uh yeah, oh my I god remember, but I, anyway he's not alive anymore i know he died of cancer it's so sad yeah Yeah, they were really cool. They, like, brought us to their, they brought us to their club. It was like an 
old colonial British like clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they paid, but well, he paid for the yeah. booth for everyone. Everyone, yeah, that's right. And he invited us to like a super fancy restaurant for dinner once. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah, I remember. He also invited us on a uh, trip down or like up the river into True. this like rural community. Yeah, but we didn't have the money because we we're both broke. <laughs> yeah, we're very poor. That's why we yeah. we, we wouldn't pay hostels. <laughs> and, uh, he brought us to a uh, a bar where it was like all bottles. Do you remember in refrigerators? And you yeah. Could just take whatever bottle you want. It was basically like a convenience store, but a bar. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of weird, but I loved it. That was awesome, man. Yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> oh, my God. And um, what were, there was another, like, a couple, like, Tim and something. Yeah, someone. Tim and uh, Joe. Joe, right. yeah. And they came later. I was working in Cambodia, and they came to my hostel. Yeah. What and that, man? I saw, well, they saw I was working there, so they came. Okay. Like, kind of surprising, like, to surprise me. Yeah. And, I like I recognized them, but I did not remember from where. So yeah. I was like, "Hi, I know you, right?" And they were like, oh, "Come on." <laughs> <laughs> it's been a month. <laughs> I'm sorry, I met so many people on this trip. Like That's I've been traveling bad. for seven months. I'm like, yeah. I don't remember everything. But yeah. yeah, they were all so great. They were really nice, yeah. And you remember so then New Year's Eve, 2016, we rented a scooter again. Oh my God, yes. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, let, I let you tell that story. Yeah, we, we rented a scooter, New Year's Eve. And uh, it was, yeah, I mean, to put it lightly, it was kind of a piece of shit, you know? Yeah. But <laughs> it was, uh, it was like, I was asking her, like, is the fuel gauge wrong or is there, is there no fuel in it? She's like, no, there's fuel, there's fuel. And we ran out immediately, you remember? Oh, we yeah. To, we had to push to a gas station. <gasps> and, then, and then that day... <laughs> We were driving for like 15 more minutes, maybe. And I was looking at an intersection uh, and I ran into the back of another scooter and deflated the front tire. Front tire. Yeah. yeah. So then, you know, we're in the middle of, we're outside of uh, Kuching in Borneo in this tiny town. And it was New Year's Eve, so nothing's open. Oh. And <laughs> I managed to ask for tools and get the front tire off, but there, was, there were no stores or anything. Do you remember we put the we put the scooter on cinder blocks and I said I'm gonna go look for a shop and you yeah. stay with the bike. <laughs> yeah, it was so okay. long. Yeah. <laughs> and I left and that uh, you left yeah, for like a, at least an hour. Yeah, and I had no way of communicating you. Communicating. No, we had no phones. We had nothing. Yeah. I did not know yeah. if you were still alive, basically. Yeah, and, and you were just sitting there like with the scooter <laughs> alone on the side of the road <laughs> alone. Freaking Malaysia. Yeah. I couldn't find anywhere. And then this uh, car pulled up and said, yeah, hop in. I'll take you to a store, you know? Yeah. And, and you, you, you went in the car. Yeah. It was a, it was like a family. So, you know. Yeah. You like, weren't scared. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> guess. Like a truck full of dudes. I uh, probably wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, no. Then they, they brought me in and I brought it back and you were still alive, which was a pleasant surprise. So, <laughs> yeah. And then that day we went to the beach. You remember? Yeah. yeah we drove quite a while. Yeah, through the jungle and stuff. We went to this town where I think we were like the only Westerners that have ever been there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that happened to me a lot in this trip. Being yeah. the only Westerner who went to a small town in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But and that then, time was crazy. You remember going to the restaurant? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Like, they were like not understanding how... And we weren't like we could we couldn't communicate basically. It was just no, no. <laughs> very rural, like jungle type of place. Yeah. yeah. And then remember we went to the beach. We had a good time. It was nice, palm trees, beautiful surf and stuff. And then when we left, <laughs> I was feeling confident about the gas, so that was all good. We got on the bike and it started yeah. raining like crazy. Remember? Yeah. And it was nighttime, so it was pitch black. And I think it was, it got dark before it started raining. And that's when I found out that the headlight was like about as bright as like a firefly, you know, that you see in the summer. <laughs> yeah. just not bright at all. You couldn't oh. see anything. And it was like torrential downpour. Yeah. To be honest with you, the whole ride, I was sitting in the back and I was just crossing my fingers not to die. Yeah. You put I, like way too much confidence in me. 
think I would, yeah, I trusted <laughs> you so much. Like I had to trust you so much and you had to trust yourself so much yeah. because I mean, there were big potholes in the middle of the road, remember? What? There were huge holes in the middle of the road. Oh my God. If you hit one of those, that would have been game over. I, mean, I could have died so many times on, on that trip. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Like, yeah. it's incredible we're still alive. Yeah, but those kind of experiences, you know, you never forget. And that's kind of why you, like, have certain f friendships that are so special with people, you know? Because that was yeah. just insane. <laughs> that was just so exactly. Insane. That's the kind of thing, yeah. like, you and I will never experience again, probably. No. No. Or not probably, like, of course, we will yeah. never live that again. It's yeah, just impossible. <laughs> and then, um, but then that was for the for in Asia, but then we met again. Yeah, I think I came to Montreal. I came twice, I think, to Montreal. Yeah, you came the first time you came, no, the oh, first Sherbrooke. time you came to Sherbrooke. That's right. Yeah. When I was studying there, you came by car because at the yeah. time you were living in Cincinnati. Yeah, 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 Cincinnati. It took me like, I think 12 hours or something. Yeah, you drove. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't think it was that cold that time second time I was there yeah the first, well the first time you came in the summer yeah that's right was that summer it was so like brown and <laughs> gray <laughs> um might have been fall yeah anyway it wasn't warm but <laughs> I don't remember I think it was summer though <laughs> yeah um and uh the second time you came in the winter yeah that was the coldest thing I've ever experienced in my life <laughs> I don't understand how you live there like year. And that was in December too. It wasn't even in January or February. True. <laughs> That's true. It was before Christmas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it gets even worse. Yeah. And we were like delivering cupcakes for your job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I made you come to Quebec in the winter to deliver cupcakes yeah. around the province. <laughs> oh my that God. Was job at the time. Cupcake deliverer. <laughs> well, it wasn't really my job. I was working in marketing, but I proposed to deliver their like Christmas gifts to their clients all over the province oh, because yeah. I was like, yeah, I'd rather get paid for driving cupcakes around than sitting at a desk. Yeah. So. Jesus, yeah. But that yeah, was, never... was kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, that was cool. New experience. I mean, but it's weird because like I'm in Holland and I think I'm at a higher latitude than Montreal and it is not like, like that cold in the winter. Yeah, you know? but it's different. Like it's, um, it's by the coast. Yeah, it's true. Here is just like in the middle of a freaking continent. So it's just like really cold. I don't know. It's like Siberia or something. I can't imagine how it is in your hometown. That's well, it's colder, but it's not as humid. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't feel that cold. Like in my hometown, it can get to like minus 50. Oof. But it's so it dry is. that yeah. it doesn't like get to your bones. But here in Montreal, it doesn't get that cold, but it gets inside of you like, ew. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like. Yeah. I remember when I was there, it like hurt breathing, you know, because <laughs> the air was just so dry and cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, My throat hurt. yeah, it's, it can be intense, but I mean, when you were born here and you just lived in that kind of weather your whole life, it's, I don't know, normal, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I can understand for someone who's never experienced it, that yeah. just arrives here and be like, what the hell people, why do you like live here? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, other than that... Then you came I, to see me recently yeah, in Holland. Yeah. I came to see you in Holland last... Um, it was January. Yeah. January, yeah. Because I went to uh, Belgium with the, the school to do some uh, comedy shows. Yeah. And, um, and I came to see you after because I was right next to Holland. So yeah. I was like, it's been a while. Can I come and visit? Yeah. You were in Brussels though, right? Yeah. Okay. So I took a um, train. Yeah. To Rotterdam. Where yeah. I live. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we basically just watched movies for four days. Pretty much. Yeah. I remember 
I think uh, me and my friends upset you when we were getting drunk and stuff, and then you didn't go out with us one night. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of <laughs> annoying that night. That's true. But I mean, like I said, you're like my little brother, like a, a little annoying. Right. <laughs> That's okay. Love I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sexy little brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Miam. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, well, basically watched, did we watch Border Security again? Yeah, we definitely watched Border Security. Uh, <laughs> we, I think we have like a fetish. <laughs> That's like a constant thing, you know, throughout, throughout the ages is Border Security. <laughs> That's the thing that just stays. Yeah, right. And Oh, do you remember we went to, um, to a bar and we stole the yeah, salt, and, salt pepper. and pepper? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> why i don't know i think the uh, i think the waitress was like a dick or something i can't remember yeah she sucked yeah she oh, was yeah. terrible so we were like let's steal the salt and pepper exactly. so i just put it in my purse and we <laughs> left oh my god like all the stories i'm like i'm telling with you is just like being bad persons nah, i mean like stealing <laughs> and <laughs> like i mean we're all we're all horrible people from time to time. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that I'm might sure be true. Stuff, you know, I'm sure you save puppies from fires. And, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do loads of good things too. Yeah, I mean, you, you're obviously healthy elderly, elderly men. Oh my God, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it happened once. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, we'll see how many times it happens on this first date show of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Well, I have like a 44-year-old next week, I think. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Maybe he will cancel. Know. Maybe he'll be like, oh my God, I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. You're going through your little black book, all the people you ever dated, right? <laughs> well, I don't have a black book for the people I dated. I only have a black book for the people I slept with. Ooh, Nice. That's the important part. Congrats, you're on it. Nice. Hey, <laughs> wait, really? No. <laughs> oh my God, you don't remember? <laughs> oh my God, am I that bad of a person? <laughs> right? <You laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> um, well, I think that's, that's pretty much our story. That's it, yeah, I'm trying to remember details, but... Uh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. That's, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for accepting my offer. No problem. Yeah. It was uh, it was nice uh, reminding myself of uh, all those adventures. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, nice always. Practice. Yeah, remember the better better days, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, we still have good days. How are you? <laughs> I did not even ask you. <laughs> You're like worried now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to go and like go hang yourself. Right. I'm gonna go slip my wrist after. This. No, please don't. <laughs> No, but seriously, you're you're doing fine. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, yeah, COVID, huh? <laughs> yeah, so you've been stuck inside, or yeah, yeah, I live alone in a little studio apartment, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, I'm not glad to before. I'm glad to know you're you're fine and you're not gonna yeah. go do bad things. Yeah. No, I just did a big bike trip. I don't know if you saw that. that I saw cool. that on Facebook. That's crazy. Yeah. That's how long did it take? It took me 16 days. I went from Rotterdam to Spain. That's insane. Must yeah, have been I had so a flat tire, and I, it made me think of that time. In, oh, uh, really? Major, yeah. And wow. some French guy helped me out. Like, so. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. Huh. But the one yeah. in Malaysia was definitely more intense. Of course. Everything so, is more intense in Malaysia. I thought you were going to get kidnapped. <laughs> I, I, I did not think about that, but yeah, that could have happened. Right. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I just remember something else. You remember once, I think it was with our fan, we went to a restaurant and like everybody eats with their hands in Malaysia. Yeah. But like they explained to us that like there's like the right hand or something is for eating and the other one is for oh. rubbing your ass. That was with uh, Khaled, the guy from Syria. Ah. Yeah. No, he was he was explaining to you, me, and Emmy, this tiny little British girl who was 18 at the time, you know, super innocent. And he was explaining that you eat with your right hand, not your left, because your left you used to like wipe your ass. Oh and yeah. He was saying that he hated the Western toilets. He like didn't he didn't like them. 
Well, most people didn't like Western toilets there. Yeah, but I mean, your first experience on a squatty potty, you know, where you have to squat down, that's yeah. like, it's like LSD kind of, you know, it's just right <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I peed on my feet so many yeah, times. Yeah, right. Splatter. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Well, on that note. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming uh, to my I podcast. And I hope it works out. And I hope uh, hope you have some interesting conversations in the future too. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, see you um, next week for another first date. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.